Hello everyone, today I will show you how to use my InDev Level Converter to convert Classic and InDev Levels to InfDev and above. So first you want to follow my link to my GitHub page, and you want to click on Latest Release over here, and download the source code. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Uh, now to use this tool you do require Python, so you can just go to Python uh, downloads and there will be a bunch listed here. Uh, I recommend just getting you know, the latest release 3.9.1 as of recording. Once you've installed that, we want to extract the files, so I'm just going to extract here. And we'll have a folder containing classic converter and in depth converter. Now, before you can actually use this tool, you need to install a dependency nbtlib. So to do that, type in python m pip install nbtlib. Now, as you can see, I already have this requirement satisfied. So I don't need to install it again. Uh, if this didn't work, make sure you install Python correctly. Or you can just try pip install nbtlib. And that might also work. Now, once you've done that, you need a world. So open up Minecraft and load up an Indo version above 2010.01.25. Uh, that's the earliest version you can use because that's the first version that's available that has world saving. I want to use this version because it has Indo chests and they contain many items, which are useful. Uh, so looks like I have a world. I'm going to save level, save it to a file, and we're going to go to the desktop. I'm just going to put it in the folder where I download it. Let's call it indev. And we've saved the world. And we're going to close Minecraft, which is going to crash because indev. Okay. <laughs> now, as you can see, we have indev.mc level. Now this mc level is the identifier for indev worlds. It is a requirement. So if you have mc level in your folder now, we're going to run the indev converter. Now it's going to ask you uh, floating world type. Uh, if you chose floating on the world generation options, you're going to want to type y, but if you didn't, just type n and it will start converting. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to load up ifdev 2010.03.27. This is the first version that uses the alpha save format. And it's the first version where conversion works. So it looks like it's finished. And as you can see, it's in world one. It's saved as world one. So once you've done that, you want to go to your .minecraft saves. And as you can see, I already have a bunch of worlds, but it doesn't matter. Cut it into your saves. And we're going to single player. And as you can see, we have a world, world one. Uh, we will load it up and check it out. Now, as you can see, uh, conversion is a little bit strange. But as you can see, we are in. in InfDev, uh, terrain generation does produce these cliffs, but everything got converted. Uh, this torch is a little bit weird. We still got these items. Uh, we just replace these torches, it should fix. And that's how to convert InfDev. So if you want to play in 1.16.4, for example, you would just have to upgrade in every version that changes the file format, and it will convert. Oh. So now I'm going to show you how to do classic. Now for classic, uh, we're going to use a classic version. We're going to use C0.30-3. That's what I have. And we're going to load it up. Now, let's just build something. Uh, that is recognizable because 
a byproduct of this conversion is it doesn't necessarily save your player position or your inventory. So looks like we're high enough. So we can save level, uh, premium only, doesn't matter. Let's save level and we'll save it to the same place. So let's call it classic. Save and we will close and it will crash again because it's classic and Minecraft is very stable. Okay, now as you can see here, we have a dot mine. This is the identifier for a single player classic world save. So we want to use a classic converter. So let's run it. And this is much faster this time. It's very quick. I see, it's already done. And we have world1.mc level. So let's load it up in the version we used before in indef. I was going to generate a world here, but uh, it's not strictly uh, needed. So let's load level, a load file. Let's go back up to desktop and we can load the world one. As you can see, the chests generated again, but this world is in fact the old world. As you can see, we can we still have our pillar here. So that shows, proves to you that uh, this convert actually does work because obviously such a pillar would never generate in indev. So uh, you might want to reload the world many times because every time you reload the world, uh, the spawn position changes. So as you can see here now, now I'm in a stone wall. Where am I? Oh. So, so yeah, well, that <laughs> very clearly shows that Oh, we're underground, which is kind of cool, I guess. Well, maybe not. But yeah, we spawn underground and we should set our pillar here, still. Now, obviously we can use the same trick. Let's save level, save file, as desktop, call it classic. Uh, let's close it, and it will crash again. Please, <laughs> please, okay. And we want to make sure we don't really have any conflicting levels. So let's delete this. I don't really need it anymore. And we'll run the in-depth converter again. And floating world type, obviously it's not floating. Now uh, you can see here uh, the level it found. So if, if it didn't find the right level, just move it out of the folder. And uh, that'll be it. So yeah, yeah, just waiting for it to convert. And while that's happening, we can load up InfDev again and check our saves. Make sure I deleted it. Yep, I deleted it. <laughs> and still converting. Okay, it's converted. Do the same thing. Cut the folder into your saves. And the world shows up here. And it's converted. The pillar is still here. Our indev house is still here. And we're yeah. in infdev. So, strange torches again. Um, it's just a byproduct of indev. Doesn't mean your world is corrupted or anything. Just, just indev things. Yep. Now we have those giant cliffs, and that's about it. That's all there is to the tool. Nothing too complicated. Very easy to use. 
So I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, thanks for watching.